aspects of the history of algebra are of interest here. The evolution of its notation and the development of its subject matter. Namely, what is algebra? Developed by the Babylonians, rhetorical algebra was dominant up until the 1500s. Rhetorical algebra was predominantly oral as writing materials were limited in most cultures. Algebraic symbols that are commonplace today were unknown. Whenever mathematicians did transcribe algebraic equations onto clay tablets, for instance, they wrote out every word. For example, the equation 3x equals 1 half x plus 10 would have looked something like this. 3 times a certain quantity has the same value as 1 half the same quantity increased by 10. The second stage is called syncopated algebra. Here we begin to see abbreviations for unknown quantities and for frequently used operations. But they varied from country to country as each country created its own. And syncopated algebra was not consistent as it did not follow clearly stated rules. The third and final stage, called symbolic algebra, began with the Renaissance mathematicians. From the mid-1500s to about 1700, algebra's symbols for operations, variables, relations, grouping, exponents, and so on were born, evolved, and matured. So algebra's symbolic notation, used around the world today, has only been in use for roughly 300 years.